Alright guys, welcome to the Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez and today we're going to be talking about uh, this DMR setup. This is one of my favorite setups. Um, pretty much, I'm just going to go over the parts that I put into it, uh, what I'm using, and the kind of concept behind uh, this gun. This year and last year, the PRS gas gun series have become very popular and there are DMR matches all over the country. So, that being said, this is my setup. So, let's start from the back and then we'll work our way forward. I'll tell you about the internal parts and all the stuff that I um, uh, pretty much have on this one. So, if we start from the back side, I have a full length A2 uh, buffer with a uh, Royal Arms Tack AR stocks, which you guys have seen all over my channel. It's my favorite stock of all time. It's for the price. Anyways, on the inside of this, we have a JP Capture Spring with a spacer. We have a titanium nitrated M16 bow carrier group. If we go down to the trigger, we have an air gold curve trigger that has been set pretty much at its lattice setting. It's about a pound. Uh, the grip is the Ergo, real nice rubber texturized. I have just a standard safety, standard. Um, Mag release, and then on the I have uh, some KN anti rotation pins for magazines. Of course, everybody knows I'm sponsored by Hex Mag. I use Hex Mags. This is a great mag, anti tilt followers. It's got the ID cordon, uh, the ID um, indicators, so you can change colors on the followers and on the indicators so you know what's 556, 300 blackout, and so on and so forth. The receivers, these receivers are from Smoss, or I think they're called Stubborn Mule Supply. So it's a Smoss Arms uh, receiver set, upper and lower. The rail is a Nabisky 16.7 inch key mod. The barrel is a Lauja 18 inch uh, custom barrel that Smoss sent me. And for gas block, for gas block, we have a micro MOA governor with a three position switch, which would be pretty much this gun was pretty much set up as a three gun competition rifle and it just basically pretty much just changed scope and it is now a DMR. Um, we have the Gem Tech Jake brake. I've had this brake for I think six years now with the Gem Tech, Gem Tech uh, Quicksand 308 Titanium Can covered with a burn proof gear suppressor cover. This is the best suppressor cover on the market in my opinion. All right, from there, we go on to the bipod. So I have a Harris bipod with a MPA, I believe it's called a D-Lock, D-Lock Harris adapter. So it changes it from basically a rifle swing point to a Picatinny uh, point and they have a new one now that changes it to Arca Swiss mount so and then I have some VZ uh, rails here for the optic, I haven't done a video on this optic yet but this is becoming my quick favorite optic uh, it's a Hilux 4 to 20 by 50 Penelux first focal plane uh, me and Chris which is the marketing director did a lot of testing uh, and a lot of designing for the reticle on this one. This has a CW1, which is a real nice uh, enhanced uh, mill line reticle with a nice 1 MOA center dock. Uh, then on this side, I also have mounted a nice little red dot. This is the Hilux Micro B dot to keep the same companies together. And then I also have a um, Harris bubble lever and angle uh, indicator. All right, this turret, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is very textile, very nice, very nice clean. It's got a very big uh, turret. It's super light, which is nice because I used to have a bigger optic on there and it was heavy. So now the rifle's probably under 10 pounds, which is really good for this side rifle. And this is also a, a, a uh, heavy barrel. 
So with that being said guys, that is my DMR. I said I would do a video on it. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will fill you in with more stuff. I will be doing a video on this optic. I have two of them. I have one in the MDT uh, Savage and I have this one. And I'm testing them out so far so good. I've shot uh, one match with it. I want to get at least four or five matches into it before I really start giving my opinion on it, guys. So other than that, uh, have a good day and see you at the range.